I'll do. Yeah? Yeah. No? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lads and lasses, now then, welcome to another video. This time today, uh, we are having a little look at the Arriva Yorkshire's hybrid fleet, the Volvo B500H Wright Gemini 2s. There are three slash four different versions, I suppose, um, in two batches. We've got the native ones, which are 1700 to 1711 which are YJ13s, they were new for the 163, 166 in 2013 in the Eco livery, the green version and then we've got what are now numbered 1712 to 1721 which came from the North East, they were new as 7801 to 7810 for the uh, Coastliner 308 service which goes from Newcastle to Whitley Bay and up to Blythe, I think I've done uh, of chips on that service but not with those vehicles obviously um, they came down a few years ago in trade with some uh, 1500s the DB 300s they've gone up there and we've got them in return as Leeds at the time was having a Euro 6 zone coming in which has since been dropped um, but Arriva are currently refurbishing that entire fleet the native ones and the uh, the northeast ones that are in max livery so we're going to basically compare all the different versions so the video is going to be a bit of a, a mix up and um, i'm going to show you in the order of like how we have them so the eco ones are going to be first then the max and the slightly different branding ones and then the new current ones that we've we've got now so yes roll with it it'll make sense <laughs> So yes, enjoy the video, and yeah, let's do this. So yes, we begin our adventure here in Wakefield, so I figured why not come here and uh, catch them all from here. Um, I'm expecting to find 1708 first, that's about 20 minutes away, um, coming in, not sure what time it's due out. That's in Eco livery, um, I don't know about that because last time I saw it, it had a blood exhaust, so I kind of want to get a video on that. <laughs> Uh, it's on the 496 up to route. Um, there's a sapphire, it's behind me. There you go, that's a sapphire. There's a uh, eco one reversing out now in the new livery. There's another one coming down. You might be able to see, you might not, I don't know. We're going to get that last uh, in the order of this video. I don't know when I'm actually going to get one of those. Um, and yes, yeah, so we'll do a, an eco one. An old eco one now then you'll see a max one and then we'll get one of the new ones after so yes that's the plan is that 1717 and MMC that's enough of that um, it's possibly going on a 196 at 12.50, it's um, on its way in so I'm going to go and queue up because it's like 10 minutes from now, okay 13, that's enough, um, so yeah I'm going to go queue up in the hopes that it's actually going to drop onto that, because wakey being wakey you can't predict what anything's going to do because everything goes on anything, so... Well it's here, it's got the blind up and everything ready, but seeing cancelled. I don't know if it's a driver change and there's no driver for it. That uh, might bugger it up a bit. So with all the uh, messing about earlier on with 1708 it has finally gone out so we can properly start this video and it'll be here in Rothwell. Um, 
it's on its way around. So this is actually the last bus I'm doing today. Um, it's best to be about that much. It's ended up being the last one. Lovely motorcycle. Um, yes, 1708 will be first. I'm hoping it's got a blown exhaust still. And then we'll do a Max 1 and then the uh, a native refurb and a Max refurb. This one's a Reva. Hey, hey, Harry. Yeah, man. Fans having Danny at the wheel. first max bus is in seven minutes. This is one of the Yorkshire branded ones. One of the refurbed and repainted Halifax buses. Very nice. There we are. Our Grand Yorkshire Connection begins on this one. 1718. Hey, Pat. Cheers. So this is in the Max livery and Max spec. It's got the seats. I love the seats. It's got USBs in most places. As you can see down there. I actually went through the effort of rebranding the insides of these, you can see. Uh, on the other side it's got the branding for the 444, uh, which you might just be able to see. There we are. See, so yes, upon arrival into Wakefield, these were uh, rebranded for the 444 and part of the Max design of Grand Yorkshire Connections. There's only a couple of these left in that branding. A couple of them are just in base Max livery. And then obviously the other ones have been refurbished into the new livery which we'll be looking at after this bus. Yes, this is 1718.
have a seat upstairs. Uh. <laughs> Now I'm here in Rothwell, the next one that we are getting now is 1701, a native one. This is one of the refurbished ones that was done at Thornton. So someone done at Thornton for the refurb and someone sent to St Helens over uh, to Liverpool direction. Um, just to yeah, speed up the refurbishment programme. So yes, we'll do 1701 next and then I'll try and find a St Helens one and compare the differences because they are slight differences between the two. There we are, 1701. YG13 FJZ. These have got the new cushions in, and then dark blue, still the original floor from uh, from when uh, it was brand new, and food, same, pretty much the same interior, but a lot of it. It just has the, the nice new dark blue cushions, which I do quite like. It's almost, uh, almost like Max just without the leather headrests. It's uh, interesting to note that some of the seats are like quite smooth and plain and these ones are like ridged. That's quite interesting to note. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I can't see any differences. They're supposed to be USBs, I think, but I can't see any at the moment. There's nothing. No, can't see any anywhere. Uh, yeah, not even underneath. So, I'm not too sure with that one. So there we are, 1701. With the, uh, the green stickers and stripes and whatnot. Quite nice. Even at the back, some green stickers. You'll notice the fleet number is above the uh, headlights and that. Whereas I believe the St. Helens ones are right in the centre under the windscreen. And I think the other difference is the green swoop tucks just under the right badge as opposed to right at the bottom of that panel.
there's the rear view of it. So this is what your hybrids will look like now in Yorkshire. And now to go find a, uh, a St. Helens one. Hopefully there's one of the, um, because the driver's gone past me. Hopefully there's one of the northeast ones because I've noticed that the refurbs don't include USBs uh, if the vehicles don't already have them. So the northeast ones, because they got refurbished into Max up there, they got USBs then, so that's why they'll still have them. Whereas the ones here in Yorkshire, they never got refurbished into Max, they've just stayed native green. And um, that will come in then. Uh, so they didn't get the USB treatment and therefore that's why 1701 there and the rest of those ones don't have USB so yeah that's something worth noting if, if you have to only USBs catch a NK13 if, if you're not fussed then you're winning either way uh, it's also good to note they're all Euro 6 as well because yes Leeds was going to have a Euro 6 zone but now Bradford is going to have a Euro 6 zone and these often go on the 425, 427 as well so yeah let's go find a northeast one so what I've got a moment since that's decided to park up because it doesn't have a driver give you a look at how the native ones looked well I suppose they all look like this and brand new but uh, I will still look like this until we get the refurbishment to the new style but yes they're in the two-tone green with the leaf design they did when you have this uh, it's a live it's electric theme across the front windows they were branded for the 163 and 166 as well um, upon transfer to Wakefield a couple of them got branded for the 444 while in this livery, but that was swiftly taken off when the uh, the other ones came in. There's a new one there, look. We shall look for one of those later. 1701 there. Uh, yes, so when the NK13 came down, they got branded instead, so the 444 became like a max room sort of thing. Uh, and then these were just debranded and stuff like the generic stuff. That's basically a replacement for the Spectrus. Uh, there's another one going there's a max one going as well, so there you go, that's all three. All three liveries. You see them all now. Uh, that's next to find, uh, or one of those ones. That's on the 111, so that's a hard pass. Right, the last, I guess, required hybrid uh, is a, a Max refurb into the new uh, spec, a northeast one. There's one here, 1717. It's got 444 on the blind, but it's on the wrong stand and doesn't seem to be booked onto anything, so we'll have to see. There you are, perfect opportunity to see your hybrids you've got. 1717 there, St Helens 1. Not the fleet number in the centre again. And then Enviro is getting in the way. There's a Max 1 next to it, which is also a North East 1. And then uh, 1702, I think that one is, FKA, which is a native one. 1717's uh, fired up, so that might mean it's going out.
yes, I think that'll end it for this video. I've um, done basically one of each. I've done 1708, which is a native hybrid, still in the original livery, new for the 163, 166. Came over to Wakefield, was branded for the 444. Some of them were branded for the 444 and then debranded when the max liveried ones came down from the northeast. So obviously they were in spot with the, uh, the 1500 DB 300s. Um, we had a max one which was 1718. That was a uh, that was a 444 brand at one point. It had the Grand Yorkshire connections on it. Um, so I had that one that was still in the max livery. Then we had 1701 in the new Greener Journeys livery that was refurbished at Thornton's. The uh, the native batch YJ uh, YJ 13s don't have USBs. Don't forget. So if it goes in without USBs, it's not coming back out with USBs. Um, and we also had 1717, which was refurbished at St Helens. That was a Max one. Uh, that's an NK13. That had USBs. Would have been a Max bus. Um, not at every seat, but dotted about. There were a few at the front, and some of them in the backs of seats. Um, so that one did have USBs. Um, and yeah, and then bonus one of 1703, which is a native one that only got a repaint. Go away, street deck, I'm talking. Um, that only had a repaint, but was still with the original interior inside as well. I nearly forgot about that one. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be refurbished, I would imagine so, but I think all that'll get is the new seats and probably a green sticker instead of a white one. Uh, but yeah, um, keep a look out in the future. I will do an update because obviously they are still in the process of the refurbishment program. When they are all finished, I will do a little update video to tell you where all 22 vehicles were refurbished and go through the entire list. So keep a look out for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, the vehicles I went on today, they'll be posted up throughout the week and a couple of extra ones. Um, from today that's not included in this video um, and yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time steady out